Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and today we will go over the latest update for the Paradinafi. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, after a nice long break, it feels great to be back and we have just passed 2000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you. I really couldn't have done this without you guys. I really appreciate all the support and it's been a lot of fun and I look forward to making more content. If you're new here, I do drone reviews and tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button along with the bell and you'll be notified when I post new content. So Parrot recently released the Anafi FPV package and with that came new firmware and app updates 6.6.0 and 6.6.1, which came with a ton of new features. The Anafi FPV package also comes with the new Anafi frame, which we first saw with the Anafi thermal, as well as the addition of VR FPV goggles and a carrying backpack. For this video, we are going to cover the new features in the app. So let's jump right in and run down the list. This update included a new tutorial interface within the main menu, manual white balance, EV and shutter toggle control, arcade flight control, two additional flight mode presets, cinematic and racing, two additional flight settings, dynamic horizon and global reactivity, and finally FPV mode with FPV controls. First up is the tutorial interface. This is located in the main menu and is a very thoughtful feature. The tutorial goes into detail about each flight mode and how to use them. This is a great feature and is relatively intuitive and easy to use. Next is manual white balance. This is a welcome feature that many of us manual shooters have been waiting for. This can be accessed under manual camera settings and allows you to set a specific Kelvin as well as the standard presets. Next is EV and shutter toggle control. Under settings, we can now set the right toggle to adjust exposure index or shutter speed instead of using the zoom function. This is a great feature for making quick adjustments without going back into the exposure settings. Next is arcade flight control. So this is probably one of the most unique features I've seen on a drone. With this control setting, you control the drone's height with the camera gimbal. The Nafi will go in the direction of the camera pitch, giving the feel of a fixed wing aircraft. The camera pitch can also be controlled with the left or right stick as well as reversed. Next is the much needed two additional flight presets, cinematic and racing. The two additional flight modes really gives you great flexibility when needing to change flight modes quickly. In the past, I've always felt just having two presets was not enough and I found myself constantly adjusting the flight settings. We now have four and each is fully customizable to your needs. Next is dynamic horizon and global reactivity. These two settings are my personal favorites. The dynamic horizon will lock the gimbal roll and tilt the image as you roll or pan the drone. You can also set bank turns in the settings to enhance this feature. This really gives the look of a fixed wing or an FPV drone and makes for very dynamic footage. Next is global reactivity. This feature will adjust how fast the Anafi will respond to your control inputs. For best cinematic moves, you will want to set this to a low value. And for faster response for FPV flying, you will want to use a higher number. You will also notice that with higher value, the Anafi will also break much faster than with a low number. Finally, let's go over FPV mode. The FPV mode is the feature update and the Parrot has done an excellent job with this feature. The Anafi FPV package includes the Parrot Cockpit Glasses 3, which is a collapsible VR goggle that is designed to work with the Free Flight app. I would like to point out you can use this feature with generic VR goggles, but you will not have the function to access the flight menus while in FPV mode. So let's talk about the menus. If you tap the top of the screen, you will access the flight and camera menu. Using the joysticks, you can quickly navigate and change flight modes as well as camera controls. If you tap the bottom of the screen, you will access the pass through feature, which will access your device's camera so you can see in front of yourself. This also includes an augmented reality feature, which will display the location of the drone as you look around. So let's go over the on-screen display. In the FPV flight view, we have drone orientation displayed at the top of the screen. 
As the drone moves around, the drone icon will move across the screen as well as change orientation as you fly. Here we see the compass which indicates the direction you are facing. Next is the radio strength indicator. As the radio strength decreases, the indicator bar will turn red and also indicate the direction you need to turn the antenna. Under the radio indicator, we have flight telemetry. At the bottom of the screen is camera settings and status. When using the right toggle for shutter speed or EV control, the value momentarily pops up on the left side of the screen when changing settings. The same goes for gimbal pitch, which pops up on the right side of the screen. There is also a setting for a minimal view, which will remove the OSD for a more immersive experience. I think Parrot has done a great job with the FPV mode, and it is probably the closest you're going to get to a camera drone flying like an FPV drone. I have recently been learning to fly FPV, and I can see Parrot has definitely taken some notes from the FPV community. The features Parrot has added really do a great job at getting similar footage to an FPV system, more so a fixed swing than an acrodrome, but regardless, they've done a great job. So there you have it guys, update 6.6 .6 for the Parrot Anafi. Parrot did a really great job with these additions and I'm glad to see they are still pushing out new features over a year later. As always, thanks for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or something you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.